A 20 kilogram child is on a swing that hangs from three meter long chains as shown. What is her speed, velocity initial at the bottom of the arc if she swings out to a 45 degree angle before reversing direction? So here we have our cute little kid and they say that she is swinging on a swing that has a chain of three meters. Three meters. And they wanna know what her initial velocity is. So of course we're gonna use conservation of energy. Before we write the equation out, let's think about this real quick. She's of course swinging back and forth and so up here at the top, all of her energy is gravitational potential energy. And why is that the case? It's because her, uh, but at the very top, her speed, her velocity is going to be zero because she's going to go up and then stop for just a split second and then reverse directions. So right at that spot where she reverses direction, her speed is zero and it's all gravitational potential energy. Now down here at the bottom, her we'll say that this right here is y equals zero. And she has no gravitational potential energy. It's all kinetic energy. And we're not gonna worry about any friction or anything like that. And of course there's no springs. So we're going from kinetic energy down at the bottom to potential energy and back and forth and back and forth. All right, so now let's write out our equation. We have kinetic energy one half mv initial squared plus mgy initial. And we're not gonna do spring or friction. Equals one half mv final squared plus mg delta y final. Now, like we were saying, we're going to look at it right here whenever she is at the very bottom of the swing. So she started back here swinging through, and then we take a picture when she's at the bottom, then we take another picture when she's at the top. So she has some sort of an initial velocity, and obviously that's the case because that's what we're solving for. So her at that point at the beginning there's no gravitational gravitational potential energy like we we're talking about at the end when she's at the top of the swing of course there is no velocity where we talked about that too so that's also zero so what we're left with is kinetic energy one half mv initial squared equals mg delta y final. Okay, so let's think about everything that we have. We want this right here, and her mass isn't changing at all, and both terms have the same variable, so we can get rid of that m value. So now we have one half m v initial squared equals g delta y final. Whoops, why did I do that? That's the M's not there. Here, I guess I'll make it look nicer and erase it. So one half V initial squared equals GY final. All right, there we go. So now let's divide both sides by one half or another way of doing it is times them by two over one or two. So we have V initial squared equals two g delta y final and then we just want v initial so we square root both sides and we're left with v initial equals square root of 2 times gravity times delta y but they don't tell us what the delta y is so we have to solve for it so let's let me go back to red and let's draw on the top of this picture up here so we know that this is three meters right here. And we know this is also three meters. So we want this distance right here. So how do we do that? We know that at this point, that is the delta y like we were talking about. But hey, look, we just created a right triangle. So now let's redraw that down here. So we have a 45, 45 right triangle. 
So now let's use some trigonometry to solve for this right here, this side of the triangle. So if we do that, we want to solve for adjacent, so we're going to use cosine. So we have cosine of the angle, which is 45, equals adjacent over hypotenuse. We know the hypotenuse is three, so let's isolate the adjacent side. So times both sides by the hypotenuse, times both sides by the hypotenuse. Like we said, the hypotenuse is three because that's the length of the, of the chain and that didn't change. So we have three cosine 45. And three cosine 45 gives us 2.121 meters. So now I'm going to redraw it again just because that other triangle looks really gross. We just figured out that this distance right here is 2.121. But we also know that when she's at the bottom that it is 3 meters long. So if we take 3 and minus 2.121, that will tell us this distance right here, which is our delta y. So that our delta y in this case is 0 0.8787 meters. So now we can plug that into our equation. So let me go back. So v initial, come on. V initial is equal to the square root of 2 times g times delta y, which we said is 0 0.8787. And so when we plug that in, we get 4.15 meters per second, or 4. Point, it should be 4.2 but I think mastering uh, physics rounded mine to 4.1 meters per second.